not really sure if I want to do it or not. Mm. I don't really know. I mean, I've been so here, used to being here and working on the farm. You know, I don't know if I want to actually take a step out. I know that your heart has been set on Romspringa with the uh, intercoursing. That's the main one, yeah. And the slapping and the pushing of the smelly parts. Yes. <laughs> Hello English, welcome back to the Amish Firearm Academy. My name is Jebediah Yoder and this is my brother Jacob behind the camera. Today we have a special episode to get dedicated to the armor plating. Okay, this, this was given to us by a good friend of the Amish Firearm Academy and this is from the cockpit of the US military Black Hawk helicopter. This armor is to keep the pilots safe and God bless those gentlemen and the ladies, okay? Uh, this is uh, just a little explanation, okay? This is porcelain plating that is designed to uh, break apart the bullets because it's very hard before it gets to the steel on the other side. So the energy is dumped into this, okay? We're gonna start with the nine millimeter. This is uh, out of a handgun. And then we're gonna step it up to the 45 ACP with the Tommy gun. And then uh, probably uh, this AK with the 762 by 39 because uh, that's a typically probably what they're going to be shot at the Black Hawk helicopter. And then we got this uh, beautiful Amish buggy 15 from our friends uh, with the 556. And then, and then we're going to finish it off English with the 308 Winchester rounds. Okay. Also known as 762 by 51. Okay, Jacob, we got a little plate down there already. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the shooting. Okay, get your ears on. Let's see. We're trying to do this in the one take. Okay. Here we go. One bullet into the plating. Here we go. Okay, Jacob, let's see what... Uh, what that did there. Okay, Jacob. This uh, nine millimeter. It is a good shot. Did not bust the jug. Okay. And it uh, didn't do anything. It didn't even really uh, mess with the porcelain. So we're gonna just give this one another shot. All right, Jacob. Let's get back and do the uh, Tommy gun 45 ACP. Okay, English, the nine millimeter didn't really do much to that armor at all. So we're gonna give it something with this uh, Tommy gun with the 45 ACP. It's uh, typically shot out of uh, the 1911, something like that. Okay, here we go. One good shot. Well, she definitely hit it, English. And I wasn't wearing my ears, but this is, uh, they called it a, a typewriter for a reason. It definitely was not too bad on my ears, but I will definitely wear my ears next time. Jacob, let's see what this one do. Okay, English. This, I didn't even think I hit it, but this was a good shot. The Tommy gun is very accurate. And this hit the other plate of the porcelain. And this is like a Kevlar, uh, woven Kevlar that they put on, on the front with the fibers, okay? But this Kevlar is definitely helping, not anymore. But this, this if you get here, wow, they made the impact, but there's not even giving the dimples on the other side. I'm gonna take the Kevlar off we're gonna move this over. Actually, we're gonna shoot it right there. And we're gonna shoot this with the AK-47. We got that back over there. This is the AK-47 with the 7.62 by 39. We like this gun quite a bit. And the wood grains, the iron sights, very simple. And we like simple here on the Amish Firearm Academy. Okay, Jacob, we're gonna put one shot onto the armor. 
with their rifle round, 7.62 by 39. It was definitely more devastating than the 9mm or the 45. Let's go down there and find out what she did. English, this definitely, definitely took care of the porcelain. If you see this, come in here close, Jacob, please. You see these are porcelain chips? This is a large piece of porcelain there. It's a very hard material. It is designed to break apart the bullet and make the bullet give all of its energy before it even touches the steel because the steel is very heavy and very thin. But this is 7.62 by 39. She gave it the big nipple, okay? This definitely had an impact and I know that this would not stand up very long against uh, five or six shots of this. So now we're going to move the jug back here, but the jug is okay. We're gonna move the jug to this side. You see there, Jacob, and I'm gonna shoot the 5.56 five, onto this. And there is the bracket that the, this uh, armor hooks onto the cockpit. So we're just gonna put it like this and give it one good shot with the 5.56. Five, it's moving faster, but I'm not sure if it's gonna make a hole. Well, let's try Jacob. Brothers and sisters, this uh, this is one of this is my definitely my favorite gun. This is uh, the buggy 15 from our friends at the Amish Arms in the Pennsylvania. We love this gun. Very classic, iron sights, very good build. We're gonna see what what this 556 can do with my buggy 15 onto this armor plating. Got to get the ears on. This is a loud gun. It's only shooting a 22 caliber bullet, but it's going really fast. Here we go. I don't think it went through English. Let's find out. This is, uh, this is good news. It's a very cool pattern. The 5.56 definitely did not deliver as much force onto this target as the uh, 7.62 by 39. This other shot was either the, I think this is the 45. You can see it fractured the porcelain out like a spider web. And just uh, expanding that energy and taking it like a good Amish woman. English, we got one more good spot right here for the 308. And I really think it's going to go through. We're going to give it one more shot. We're going to shoot uh, 308. Okay, last shot. This is uh, very close to the AK-47. It definitely did more damage, but it did not go through. About the same size dimple. Okay. This is good. This is a lot of fun English. I got to say, we forgot to shoot the dummy, so I'm going to put a few shots in the dummy for you. Okay? And then somebody's going to get this shirt. I think that's a good thing. But our helicopter pilots for the U.S., they safe against all those rounds. We just uh, hope they don't have to be put into harm's way too often. Okay, English, keep it safe and keep it simple.
Keep it simple, English.